Alright, next galaxy to unlock is this one. Welcome back everyone, this is the Dusty Doom Galaxy. Woo! Fly Mario, fly! Um, normally, in most games, I hate deserts. I really do hate deserts. Not because they're like hard or anything, or because of quicksand or something like that, but because they're aesthetically boring. I mean, all they are is just sand and cactus, sand dunes, maybe some gusts of wind. But but in this game, they go all out to make this interesting. Okay, go in these tornadoes and shake the Wii Remote. Mario is a freaking helicopter! Yeah, that's... Now Mario can fly. Seriously, Mario can do anything. This guy is like the Chuck Norris of gaming. They they would have be an awesome fight, I gotta say. Mario versus Chuck Norris. That would be like the Clash of the Titans. Look at his arms go! I mean, Jesus. Um, if you want to long jump into this one or float into this one, the object is to get over, oh, get over to this pipe over here. Not very hard to do at all. But if you fall into any of that moving sand down here, that's quick sand and you'll die instantly. Ground pound through these boxes. Avoid the Goomba. Uh, I said avoid the Goomba. Thank you, Mario. And whoa. And so we're in this deep, dark sand catacomb thingy here. And uh, as you can see, there's quick sand that I shouldn't have landed into. Dang it. Um, avoid this plump here. This is moving quick sand too. You won't, you won't die in it. Um, but it will slow you down when you have to do timing stuff like that flaunt there. Uh, what's down here? Oh, just the Goomba and some coins. Ah! I do not want to get the Goomba and some coins for on a plant, but but that, thank you for very thank you for telling me that there is stuff down there. But I already knew that. Oh shoot! I accidentally died. Uh, yeah, if you fall in there, you die. Whoopsie. Yeah. Well, as long as I'm here, I should probably show you guys this. Take a look on top of this swamp here. There's a different area. Oh no! How do I get through this? Well, I just run it through him like a madman. Oh my goodness! Ah, yes. Star Shroom for the win. Oh shoot. I almost killed myself again. Um, there was a question mark thingy up there, but I, I forgot what that question mark thingy is. And I really don't want to risk the thwomps again. Um, press those buttons there, a whole bunch of star bits will pop out. Um, these things are gravitated, so feel free to walk around and get yourselves a whole load of star bits. Oh, yes, baby. Star bits for the win. Coins, too. Does any star bits come out of this when I get them all? Or get, get as many coins? I guess not. Oh, the star bits disappeared. That makes me sad. Hey, what's that question mark? Oh, fire flower! Woo! And now I will be able to kill my enemies with cat-like precision and fireballs. You know, one of the two. Uh, or one of the four, because, you know, I, I, I usually go with illogical things in my commentary, so that sounds more... Oh my goodness! What shall I do? Run away, Mario! Get ready to spin. Ah, oh, I mistimed my spin. That's alright. Uh, yeah, you can break that apart just like any other one because of that red thing. Uh, on the edge of it. I'm, I mistimed it, so I took a hit, but that's alright. Just continue on with your Sling Star adventure here, and next tornado area. You obviously have to go in the tornado. Woo! Spin, and move upwards. The star is very close by now. Uh, now you have to climb up these sand waterfalls. What you want to do is jump as soon as you land on the ground, and then spin. That'll give you just enough loft to continue on moving forward faster than if you were to um, just jump forward. Um, jumping forward alone would not give you very much. Let me go up there. Thank you. Whew. Who knew it would be so hard to backflip up somewhere? I mean, come on. Anyone can backflip, but Mario does it all the time, right? Anyway, hit this thing. I'd like some sling stars up here. That's what you need. And use those sling stars to get up to this tornado. Those t those two tornadoes down there will never get you up here. Wait till you get to this end and then spin. Uh, hit this thing. Star bits will appear. Uh, wall jump up here. 
Oh yeah, baby. Get some more star bits. Bingo! Oh yes! Star bits for the win! Woo! And to get these, these are fun. You just slide down, and you slide down, and then you jump. Woo! Just like that. Now uh, watch out for this gap here. Uh, you gotta time it so you get up to uh, that thing. And now you gotta wall jump off this thing, like that. That, it, that part's kind of tricky there, so time your wall jumps very well. Those things move into the wall if you land on them, as you can see. So don't stand, stand on them too long. Long jump over here to the star. Uh, get ready to break it out. Oh, and that's your star. For some reason it moves away from the place that it was at, which puts it in perfect position for me to bounce on it from a distance, well, a short distance, and grab it. Woo! A hungry Luma has appeared, but I'm not done with Dusty Doom Galaxy just yet. So I'll be back to those hum hum all those hungry Lumas later with more Star Bits. <laughs> I like Star Bits. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little bit creepy now with those star bits, so I'll stop now, at least for a little while. <laughs> Next one is blasting through the sand. There's a bunch of sand, and I guess I'll be blasting through it, but, but not right now. I have to go over here. Um, stand in the middle where this ring is. I mean, not a ring! Did I just say a ring? I mean coin. And you get ready to spin, kill all of them at once, and a cornucopia of star bits will appear, and then a ginormous one will appear there, and wait for him to flop, oh wait, no, you can just spin into him, I'm mistake. Uh, destroy all four pieces of his body, and of course his head, ouch. Also, don't run into a cactus, cactuses have pointy spikes, just telling you that for your own good. And we're over here, uh, I'm pretty sure you can walk around this edge here, yeah, you can. Uh, star bits and stuff like that over here, there's also a hungry luma, this is where you can get the, the secret star of this area. 20 star bits? That's all you want? Well, I might as well do this right now, then. Woo! Transform! Oh, yeah. Hungry Lumas like star bits just as much as I do. And so a pyramid has appeared. It is a new planet. And so is a sling star. Woo! Star bit! Yeah! I wasted a couple star bits, but if, but if you get a star out of it, they're not really wasted in the end now, are they? So, now we're in this very special pyramid area. This pyramid area is actually kind of annoying, uh, but still pretty fun to do because it's pretty creative. Um, you're, you're after these silver stars. Touch this green ring, and the sand in the room will switch. Now, watch for multiple paths here. Um, because some paths have stars, some don't, some delete the dead end and stuff like that, others don't. There is a star right there. I'm going to try and cover all the paths as I go. Like, I'm going to go back the other way and get that star right there. Um, in just a sec here, I'm going to hit that uh, green line, and it's going to go back. And I'm going to free another star, which is right over here. That's three. And come back along this other way, wherever this other way is going to lead me, I guess. Um... And there's a very special way. One way that you have to do like a triple jump to get to. Uh, it's pretty tricky to get to, uh, but it's something that you have to do. I think it's this this little place right here. Um, but I'm not going to do that just yet, because I don't think I have to get to that just yet. Uh, so I'm going to continue on along this route here. I just like to make note of that spot along the other side. This is kind of like a auto-scroll thing, and it's rare to see something that's auto-scroll in a 3D area, you know? Auto-scroll is typically something that happens in a 2D environment. Um, this is not going to yield me any stars, will it? Nope. Uh, so I'm going to go over to this side. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can get up here with a spin, and maybe I'll... Oh, shoot! Well... This will give me the uh, gravity to get through here. Whoa! I almost got squished there, kind of. I don't think... Well, maybe I wouldn't have gotten squished there. Which way? Which way? Which way? Oh, my God. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go. I must pick a way. I must pick... Oh, my goodness. Oh, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Um, I'm going to go left next time. Now i got to wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, now I'll go this way. 
Christmas. This should give you the last star, if I'm not mistaken. Last silver star, I should say. Little tiny gap there. As you can see, this is a totally new place I haven't been to before. That's why you have to take this route to get to it. There's the silver star. That's the last star. And where's the star gonna appear? I don't remember. Oh, the, the sand drains out of the room first. So I guess it appears at the bottom. Woo! And there's the last green star in the entire game. Um, you just have to go down, downwards now. Uh, the wall evidently has gravity downwards, or whatever. Uh, I mean, gravity towards the walls, yet the floors have gravity towards the floors, but you can walk on the walls. I don't know, you're a ninja. Just grab the star and go. Woo! And that about does it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.